Hello and welcome to my four series of view. This is going to be a POV, a test drive, but also like a review, like full review. I'm going to be showing you inside the cabin, what it's like, like space, is it spacious or not, which it is. Very looking car. This is Alpine White. It's 420D X Drive M Sport Plus. So it's got all the bells and whistles that come with it. Got the M Sport brakes here. It's part of the M Sport Plus package. Um, apologies for it being like really dirty, but I've got to give it back very soon. So I'm just going to wash it when I give it back, which is in five days. So yeah, this is kind of a, a video about me giving it back because it's been a 7,500 miles are done with it. So this works on like inside. Seat bar gets pushed for you. Always handy. Nice feature. It's probably something I miss most about it, pretty much. Actually, what am I doing? I don't need the seat belt on yet. I'll show you the practicality. So we have two cup holders here. This thing slides out in and out. Um really big door bins they can hold like a 1.5 litre bowl um good storage in here and in here it's quite shallow and you have your wireless mobile device charging um it's an option so i wouldn't worth it's not really worth getting if i'm being honest um the good thing about it being m sport plus is that it comes with a lot of things so let's turn the Ignition on. Um, you've got heated seats that comes as standard with most four series, I think. Harlan Carlin comes with M Sport Plus. The professional nav comes with the M Sport Plus and M Sport normally, and I think Harlan Carlin does as well. Um, so M Sport Plus is definitely an option worth getting. It's just comes with so much, and you save so much money, and it just completes the car. This, this kind of car deserves it. I've got the red coral Dakota leather. I think that's what it's called. And it's just given this dash like a bit like a bit more life. I love the, the red tone around here. And this is a lovely place to be. Oh, there's a bit more storage underneath here. I'm not sure we can really fit in there. Um, cool. Let's get to the back. Now, I'm not going to show you what it's like behind my seat because I sit quite far back, but I'll show you what it's like behind the passenger and look how much legroom they've got, they've got loads. So I'm going to get it back of here. Actually, yeah, let's get it back of here. Legroom is right. Actually, there's actually more legroom behind me. So I'm going to get on my side to see the perspective of what it'll be like to drive behind someone who sits quite far back. That's been put quite far back because people go in my car quite a lot. And the like people have always complimented how spacious it is back here. There's so much leg room. I mean, this is kind of a poor example because usually this passenger has like that chair quite further forward, but there is, believe me, a lot of leg room. And headroom is totally fine. Like seriously, totally fine. Uh, there's this little tray here, not sure what you can really put in there, like maybe a mirror phone. Uh, and you've got like two cup holders here. And that's about it really in the background here. But like I said, you never really get complaints like for people staying at the back here. It's Everyone I've spoken to said this car is really spacious for what it is and probably the best out of its class in terms of practicality so what else should i look at oh yeah the boot now the boot is also like really big like it's a much bigger than i thought it would always be you have like this little bit of storage here you could fit like a watermelon in i've done that before and then you've got underfloor storage here which I keep the, I can't remember what you call it, leave that. So yeah, big boot. So 
Let's have another look at it with its lights on. It is a stunning car. Right, um, I think I've shown you about pretty much everything it's got in terms of options and stuff. It's got the ZF8 automatic gearbox, which is superb, changes really smoothly. And when you put it in sport mode, it's a completely different story it just goes. Right, so let's go. Where should we go? Let's take it for a drive. Now, this car, um, when it was new, when I first got it, was 43 grand, well, 43,000 pound list price, which is a lot. But when I just before I left, I checked how much you get one of these with the same mileage, same year, which is a 67 plate, so quite new. And the same spec, same mileage, same year. You can get one for about £25,000. So, yeah, bargain. Well, not a bargain in that sense, but it's, it's lost so much of its value that it's ridiculous, really. Worth getting, though. Now, in terms of comfort, it's all right. The diesel is a bit noisy though. Like the diesel engine is quite noisy, rattly. I'm just trying to think of where I can take us. It's quite a nice Sunday evening. I'm not sure where to go really, but I'll think of somewhere. Uh, another option on this car is X Drive, and I didn't really ever think I'd need it, but it, it's actually came in handy for like once. Like you never think it would in England, but it actually has. And when we had Beast of the East, um, like drama everywhere, panic, 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 and then. I had to go to work on when Beast of East was happening and it actually got me there, which is quite surprising because most cars got stuck. But this got me out of my town quite easily and up some like really slippery hills. And after that, it was quite plain sailing really. And also I had to drive to Milton Keynes from where I live, which is about 26 miles, something like that. And the journey was quite slow because of the traffic was really slow. But other than that, it was really good. So I gave it quite a lot of praise, but it's not an option I would go for. It's just not worthwhile getting somewhere like here. It's probably not gonna happen for a very long time. If it does, then I won't miss it. I won't miss it really. So let's do a bit of town driving, and I'll do some country road driving, I'll probably do maybe a dual carriage way driving. But I think I just went the wrong way. No, I think I'm in the right way. So I'll give you some stats about this car. Uh, 0-60 is about 7.3 seconds. I think with the X-Drive, yeah, it's about that. It's quick. Especially for an economical um, 420D, it's all right. The only thing I wasn't like super impressed with was with the economy. Like it wasn't really go starting off that well, but I've done 7,600 miles now, and um, I think the, and now the engines like kind of ease in. It's starting to do a lot better than it was. before per tank I was getting about 400 miles and it cost about 65 quid to fill up and I was expecting a bit more because I'm when I'm driving to and from work it's just a lot of dual carriageway and motorway driving so I was putting in like cruise control and then the eco pro which is one of the three settings we have down here well if you don't include sport plus and it just didn't really um, deal. 
with like fuel consumption very well. I wasn't very impressed, but now it now for some reason it's just suddenly changed its mind. It's like really really good on fuel. So right now I've done 250 miles, and it's saying I've got 290 left, and to me that's fantastic really. Like, what what more could you want? Especially for a car like this, you do expect economy to be a big factor of it, otherwise why get this? Might as well just get maybe like a 4... 430D, 435D. But obviously I can't get one of those. A bit too much power for me. Now I was going to show you what it's like a Sport Plus, but we've kind of hit a bit of a straggler. It's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, it, is, it handles very well, give it that. Yeah, you do feel the X drives giving you so much more grip. Like when I have my my 120D, my one series, which is rear wheel drive, it, it is a bit tail happy. It, it was tail happy at times when you were a bit fragrant with the throttle. Damn it. Really, really wants to like give it some, but this golf's not really much in the mood to be going very fast. If I ease off a little bit and just give him a bit of time, then be able to get a bit of fun in this car. I might slow it down completely actually. There's no one behind me, I can do it. Put it in sport mode down here, knock it into manual. Yep, it's fast. It's a whole lot of fun. You just feel the grip around the corners as well, it's fantastic. And we pretty much already caught up with the golf already, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, I didn't really want it to go too far, I don't want this video to be too long. I want to get into the dual carriageway. See what it's like um, mid range see what it's like when maybe you're behind the lorry and you want to overtake quite quickly how well does it respond how quickly can you do it let's have a find out really it's got to get there first oh yeah something else i haven't talked about yet visibility visibility is really good especially for a coupe the back window is like really big i've got it's still in sport mode not sure what speed it is down I think it's like 50 yeah it's 50 but yeah visibility back window is huge you can see everything you can see yeah everything windows are quite big driving, driving seat position perfect what am I doing it's 40 well I'm doing 40 but it's 50 the speed camera here down here somewhere This car is gorgeous. I will miss it, but I'm not going to miss it as much as the car I'm going to get next, which I'll probably make a video on when I get it in the next week. I know it's just Friday I'm getting it, so I'll probably make a video on that sometime soon. It's got to get to the destination. I can't remember how long the dual carriageway is from here. It's probably a couple of miles.
such a beautiful day. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet by the way, this is my first video so I'm a bit nervous and I haven't really done anything like this before but I hope I've given you like, the, like all the information that you like need or want. If there's any additional information please do let me down in the comment section below or anything. I'm happy to ask, I could, I could probably answer any of them. Done so much in this car, took it to Devon. Took it to Cornwall. So beautiful down there. This car really did wasn't its world of its own when it was ta tackling those those corners. I can't remember if it's the natural speed limit is up yet or not. I think I've just gone past it already. drive this car Sunday evening, beautiful weather, I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss it, oh, pothole central, okay we're not going that way, I think it's across the roundabout, go right again, yeah it's right around here, we can test out the speed it really has now. So, look at that speed. Okay, went just over the speed limit then by accident. Alright, this is a perfect opportunity actually to find out what it's like to respond. So, I've got it in sport mode right now, I'm behind the lorry. I'm going to try and do the same speed as the lorry. Oh no, there's a car There's a car coming right behind me. What should I do? Indicate. Put my foot down. It just takes off. Yeah, it's a good car. Very quick. Economical. Spacious. X-Drive works like a treat as well when it needs to be used. I can't really fault this car in any single way. The only thing that has, well, no, no. The thing I was going to say is about the doors, like when you open them, they're a bit wide, but it's a coupe, what do you expect? That's why you buy one of them. It's that image, it doesn't look great. That's my only complaint really, just how like how wide the doors open. Uh, And yeah, obviously, I've already mentioned it, the engine's quite noisy. I need to get in the other lane, mate. Please let me through. This free series, please. We're bros. Come on. I have to actually slow down for them to overtake me. I need to be in the other lane. Actually, no, I might, I might get the same dual carriageway for a bit longer. See what it's like overtaking again. So yeah, if I was to buy this car, I would spec it pretty much exactly how it is, minus the X drive and without the wireless charging. Because I have a USB, I have to, there's a USB cord right there, and I just use that to charge my phone. I mean, my phone is old, so that does kind of explain why I don't need it. But other than that, it's just, it just really isn't worth getting. Okay, it's Golf GTs. Oh yeah, I'm reading him in. But I don't need to go any fast anymore, so yeah. See that golf that that golf GTV was giving it some a little bit, but because of this immense power this car wields, I didn't need to try anymore. Yeah, I'm almost done with this video I think. Just gonna go around this corner one more and that's about it really. 
first corner, the next dual carriageway. I'm gonna put it in manual, I'm gonna put it down to second gear maybe. Third gear, okay. Oh the Peugeot's giving it some but he hasn't got the speed for this. It's 50. Oh that's ruined my fun. Well, that's about wrapped it for this video, I think. Thank you all for watching. If you've got any comment like uh, questions you want to ask, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'll answer all of them. Um, thank you for watching. So, without further ado, I'm going to go home and may have some spaghetti bolognese. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.